Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today is a uh, really exciting day. Um, very happy to be here representing Event Power and specifically the Mighty North Fork Triathlon that's in South Old Town. Did the 15th annual this year. And CAST has been a part of the event for the last several years as the beneficiary. CAST has been here uh, almost 50 years and uh, the mission is to help families towards self-sufficiency and also to provide a safety net for them. We have over uh, 287 families that are signed up for our food pantry. Uh, Cast Community Action South Old Town. We serve uh, all of South Old Town, which goes from Laurel out to Orient Point, not just where we are in Greenport. Right. And we also serve um, 45 families that have children in school that get a free lunch because they're uh, below the poverty level and they don't have, uh, they, we give them extra food for their children in the summer. Even though we're a small town in, in the eyes of America, uh, every small town has people that are uh, down on their luck right now and people that are under the poverty line and they're maybe invisible invisible to the regular population. Right. Uh, there's homeless families, there's immigrant families, there's families that have been intergenerationally poor here on the North Fork. I want to give you this check from the Mighty North Fork Triathlon and thank you guys thank for doing you. all that you do. Would it be possible for you to give us a tour of the sure. facility? Yes. This is our front office and this is where we triage everybody that comes in for their needs one way or another. This looks like pretty fresh bread and nicely wrapped. So we got a whole basket of this, is something you get daily? Twice a week we get it from the Blue Duck Bakery in, in South Old. They give us their, their bread and give it to our clients and families that need it. Nice. We also get food from farm stands, Sepp's farm stand and Wickham's farm stands. Give us their uh, extra food so we can uh, use it for families. We have a sharing room here where um, people donate clothes, small household items, anything people uh, could use, books, toys, it changes all the time, televisions, and anybody can come and take it. It's free. So a lot of people bring things that they don't need anymore uh, here, and we have families that know and come regularly to, to take them. Everything's different all the time. It's sort of like a yard sale that you don't have to pay for. And then we go into our food pantry. We've had a food pantry going along with CAST over the last almost 50 years. Uh, and we've been in various buildings, and, uh, but this is a, a small but a mighty operation. And we're able to help people on a regular basis. Things are a little quieter in the summer for general families because there's a lot more work in the summer for uh, families in town. The, the peak time is in the winter, January, February, March, where so many people are laid off from the outdoor jobs and restaurants and so forth because we are a seasonal town also and uh, have a lot of influx in the summer. So this is locally grown corn from Sepp's Farms. I live in Greenport and I I've always looked to give back to the community. So a couple of years ago, I came down to CAST and asked how I could help, and they needed somebody for transportation. So what I do is I go to local farm stands, I ask if they have anything that's left over that ultimately would be thrown out if they would mind making a contribution. And then the farm stands will call me, and I, two, three times a week, I'll get a phone call from a farm stand, and they'll say, uh, come get some stuff. Nothing like Long Island corn, and that's great because I hate it when you go to the uh, the farm stands and you see, you know, you see the corn and you realize, oh, nobody buys this today. Right. They're going to be throwing it out tomorrow, and here it's going to definitely go to use. And and this in particular because the ends were just a little, you know, oh, yeah, it just didn't look great. People look like that, and and you look at the rest of the the ear of corn, and it's beautiful. Yeah. 
Absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful, and why not? Why not help out? This would all go to waste. So, good cause. If you want to participate in any of the 12 events Event Power has throughout Long Island, each one of them is tied in with a really nice local organization. You're not only racing, you're also going to be helping out something or someone in the local community.